drinking water. So we bring this water in straight from outside, and we filter it, but we don't heat it in any way. So whatever the temperature of the water is outside the harbor, that's how cold it is in here. It's usually about 57 degrees around this time of year, which is very cold for all of us humans in here. We're really glad we have wet suits on. But it's perfect for all of the penguins that we have here. In the wild, all penguins live near cold water currents. And this is because cold water actually carries more nutrients and oxygen than warm water does. So we can support larger fish populations, and the penguins like to eat those fish populations. So all penguins live near this very cold water currents in the ocean in the wild. That being said, this doesn't necessarily mean that penguins have to live in really cold places. I know the iconic picture of a penguin is them jumping around on icebergs or playing in the snow. But the reality of it is that most Oh my god!
biggest fish in this tank are the uh, small sergeant majors. They're about this big. And Nadia, why are you afraid of those fish? Yeah.
Yeah, so we were just saying that some of the fish do have babies. Uh, some of the more vicious fish in here are the sergeant majors who are about this big, and they lay their eggs on the glass by the windows. Uh, so those will actually be born and raised here. They'll actually collect those eggs and raise them behind the scenes. Give them a nice thing before they go into the big tank. Quick question, nice and loud again. Sea cucumbers? Okay, then I can answer that afterwards. Good question, Nadia. So how many divers go into this tank in total?